Hello and good morning, it's Phil Thatch and I have a new gizmo. I have the 1.4 extender, as Canon likes to call it, for RF glass. And you know, I've had Nikon calls them teleconverters and I've, this is my 1.4. I had the 1.4 and the 1.7 and the 2.0 for years. And when I sold a lot of my gear, I sold the 1.7 and the 2.0, but I kept the 1.4 because it is the best of the three in my opinion. And Canon just makes a 2 and a 1.4, so I bought the 1.4. And haven't really used it much yet. I just I made a couple of goof around shots around the house. And today, Heather and I are going to go to the aquarium and to the butterfly garden and try it out in the butterfly garden. It fits nice and snug. There's no wobble between the camera and the converter or between the converter and the lens. When the 100 to 500 is used on it, it only zooms back to 300. So you have the 300 to 500 part of that lens. So it's a 420 to 700, F8 to F10. But because it won't collapse as small, normally I can carry the 100 to 500 in this smaller bag in that spot. But now I have to carry it in my bigger bag. Now I have put the 1.4 on the 800 F11 which fits in this area here and with the teleconverter on it still fits in this 300 size low pro bag. We were driving down the Amicola Highway on our way to the Tennessee Aquarium and on this uh, power line telephone line right on the side of the road was a red shoulder hawk. So we turned in here to, to the Pepsi place to, uh, to make a photograph of the red shoulder hawk and it, it was horribly backlit as you can, the power line's that way, and as, that, as you can see in this shot, the sun's shining on me. And I made some photographs of it here that I didn't like because it was backlit. And then I went up onto the highway on the wrong side of the guardrail for a pedestrian to be on and made some shots of it. And I think some of them turned out okay. I'm, I'm really enjoying the 1.4 extender so far. Well, here it is, the first picture I have shared with my new RF 1.4 teleconverter extender device. And it's a red shoulder hawk on the power line. I was really happy with the way this turned out, although I did kind of have to step out into the road to get a good sun angle on this bird. Well, I wasn't planning on uh, playing with the 800 on the 1.4 extender today, but we stopped by Curtain Pole Road on the way to the aquarium just for a minute. And way across the pond, all the way on the back side, there's some northern shovelers swimming around. And so I decided to see what 1,120 millimeters would do with them. Still wasn't able to fill the frame with them all the way across the pond, but I made a few shots. I, we're, we're not staying here really long because the aquarium is really our destination. Um, so I, I don't think I got any great ones, but you can get an example of what the 800 and the 1.4 will do. We stopped at this location because we were going right past it and I wanted to try to get some photographs for this video besides just the butterflies, although I had every intention of the butterflies being the main part of this video. And I was really happy with the way this turned out. It's 1,120 millimeters. It's the 800 plus the 1.4 teleconverter. This picture is heavily cropped and from a very long distance away. Plus the 800 millimeter lens is not perfectly sharp like the 100 to 500 so the 1.4 extender also enhances the imperfections of that lens so it leaves a little bit to be desired but I was still happier than I thought I would be with this combination in early testing. All right we have made our way up the escalator to the top of the Tennessee Aquarium Ocean Journey building. Let's go see some butterflies. On the same floor the very top of the Ocean Journey building there are ring-tailed lemurs and I made this photograph with the 100 to 500 and the 1.4 extender. And Heather was with me and she was happy to make some photographs too with her good old Nikon Z50. And she loves that Tamron 18 to 400 lens. It's a very versatile lens for all sorts of photography. Well, we enjoyed the butterfly garden. Um, it was pretty slick on the floor in there. And uh, I think that the 1.4 teleconverter helped. Let's take a look at the pictures that uh, Heather and I got. Heather's shooting with the Z50 and the Tamron 18 to 400, which is a great butterfly lens because it has a really short minimum focus distance. So she has 600 millimeters full frame equivalent. And with the teleconverter, I have 700 millimeters. And I, my minimum focus distance is not quite as close as hers, um, but I think we both got some pretty cool shots. Let's take a look. 
It worked out really well using the 1.4 extender and the 100 to 500 there in the butterfly garden because your minimum focus distance is not reduced at all, but your magnification is increased by 1.4. So it was a lot easier for me to fill the frame with these butterflies than it was the last time we went. And I'll put a link to that video at the end where we went to the Tennessee Aquarium recently. But look at all these beautiful butterflies there in the Tennessee Aquarium and all of the beautiful flowers that they land on. It was a lot of fun to photograph them and the 1.4 extender didn't seem to slow down my autofocus at all on the 100 to 500. Uh, every once in a while, I got a little bit closer than minimum focus distance, and that made the autofocus not work, but uh, that makes perfect sense. And I also figured out that with that lens, if you are on the 300 millimeter side, it has a closer minimum focus distance than it does when you're zoomed all the way to 500 millimeters. So the very last two shots, I couldn't back up any further. So I zoomed the lens a little bit closer. You'll see this shot is 700 millimeters, but this one is only 599 millimeters. So I was able to get a little bit closer. And then this one is only 480 millimeters, much closer to the 300 end, which would be 420. Here are Heather's photographs from the butterfly garden, and I thought she did a really outstanding job this time. She did a great job last time as well, and though she did not have a gear change like I did in between our last visit and this visit, she had uh, more experience under her belt, and she knew more how to handle the situation of photographing these butterflies using the Nikon Z50 and the Tamron 18-400. She's at 400 millimeters most of the time, but I don't think all of these are at 400 millimeters, but I could be wrong. Here is another one at 400 millimeters. Look at the beautiful colors, and I love their eyes with all the little black spots on them. And what kind of butterfly did you say this was? It's a malachite. Malachite. See, I thought it was a Gulf fritillary with a strange green color, but Heather has figured out what it is. Still don't know what this one is, but this was the most common of the butterflies there in the butterfly garden at the Tennessee Aquarium. And this one here was probably my favorite one to photograph. And Heather made a nice uh, just a position photograph of these two flowers there in the butterfly garden as well. It was a fun morning of photography. All right, thanks for joining us here at the Tennessee Aquarium and a couple of other locations in Chattanooga. I'm really enjoying my new RF 1.4 teleconverter extender so far, so I'm sure it'll be featured in many, many upcoming videos. Have a great day, and as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.